Okay, right here is a 2006 Komatsu PC 5500-6. In mid-1994, Manisman DMAG first announced an all-new state-of-the-art hydraulic mining excavator designed to fill the gap in between the smaller H285S and the larger H485S. That machine was the model H455S, which was officially released the following year in 1995. A few months later, in November of 1995, Komatsu Limited created a joint venture with Manisman DMAG, forming the new company DMAG Komatsu, and by early 1999, Komatsu had taken full control of DMAG and re-registered the company as Komatsu Mining Germany. That same year, the former DMAG H455S was renumbered and renamed the Komatsu PC5500. The following year, in 2000, the first PC5500 boosting a new style operator's cab was placed into service. Now, let's go and take a closer look at the PC5500. The older DMAG H455S was rated as a 33 cubic yard machine. The PC5500-6, which is available from Komatsu with either a backhoe or front shovel attachment, is designed to swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from 34 to 38 cubic yard capacity in backhoe configuration and swing a bull clam ranging anywhere from 27 and a half to 38 cubic yard capacity capacity in front shovel configuration. If you look on the back of the bull clam, you can see where the two bucket cylinders are located to curl or uncurl the bull clam. And up top under the boom, you can see the two stick cylinders to push or retract the stick. Fifty-three inch crawler shoes are standard for the PC5500. However, Komatsu also offers optional wider 71 inch crawler shoes depending on the type of ground surface that this machine will be working on. Each one of the massive crawlers on this machine measures 31 feet 11 inches in length and 8 feet 11 inches in height. Each crawler consists of three top rollers and seven bottom rollers to support the 46 linked crawler shoes. And this big machine has a top travel speed of 1.4 miles per hour. From here you can get a good view of the car body on the PC5500 and you can see where the axial piston travel motors are located to propel each individual track. And you can see where the hydraulic hoses run from the motors through the car body of the machine and then up to the hydraulic system to power the motors. Let's go up on this beast. As you can see, this PC5500 is equipped with a hydraulically powered man basket to provide safe access for workers to get on and off the machine. First, we'll secure the chain. And now up we go.
Okay, from here you can get a good view of the hydraulic system and control valves on the PC5500-6. This machine utilizes a four-circuit hydraulic system, which features a load-limiting governor with oil delivery summation to the working circuits and incorporates pressure cutoff control. The machine's unique hydropilot system prioritizes hydraulic flow, which results in smooth hydraulic response. This compartment directly below the operator's cab is the electronic room. And from here you can see all of the computers, relays, and electronics that work this machine. The right side of this machine is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here, which holds 1,000 gallons of hydraulic oil. And if you look right here on the side of the tank, you can see the gauge to show the operator or mechanic how much hydraulic oil is inside the tank. Right here you can see the large swing-out vertical air-to-oil hydraulic coolers, which feature temperature-regulated hydraulically driven fans. And if you look down here, you can see one of the two variable displacement piston swing motors, which will swing the shovel left or right when it's running. And here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. Let's go inside the pump and engine room. Right here you can see the six identical main hydraulic pumps on the PC5500-6. The pumps are paired in sets of three and each set of pumps are connected to a gearbox driven by the machine's power plant. Each pump on this machine draws oil from the unpressurized hydraulic oil tank to deliver a total output of 1110 GPM. And the PC5500's open circuit hydraulic system provides maximum cooling and filtering efficiency. Now let's go and check out the heart of this machine, the engines. The PC5500-6 is offered with either diesel or electric power, depending on what the customer prefers. The diesel engine configuration for this machine consists of twin Cummins QSK38s, which you can see right here. These are four-cycle, water-cooled, direct injection, turbocharged and after-cooled V12 diesel engines, each developing 1,260 horsepower to produce a total combined output of 2,520 horsepower for this machine, which is a 17.5% increase in power over the original H455S. With electric drive, the PC5500-6 is equipped with twin 900 kilowatt squirrel cage type induction motors. And each of the two high capacity engine radiators are cooled by a hydraulically driven fan for superior cooling efficiency.
Here you can see other service compartments to get in and service the front diesel engine. Mounted behind the operator's cab is the diesel fuel tank, which holds 2,853 gallons of fuel. These red canisters that you see here are for the fire suppressant system. Here you can see the two sets of exhaust mufflers and the two sets of air intake and air cleaners for the engines. And right here you can see the grease tank for the central lubrication system. And from here you can get another good view looking down at the hydraulic system. And you can see where all of the hydraulic hoses run out to power the front attachment. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the PC5500. This is an air suspension seat that can be adjusted to fit the operator's weight and position. The seat is also electrically heated. Okay, the two joysticks that you see on the right and left side are called electro-hydraulic joysticks. They are pistol grip in design and these control all the digging functions of the front shovel attachment out in front or if the machine were set up as a backhoe. This big hand lever that you see over here on my right side controls the safety lock just like on a smaller excavator. You push forward to release it and pull back to engage it. On the floor, you will see five foot pedals. These two foot pedals out in front here control the travel functions on the shovel. Each pedal controls each individual track. This pedal that you see over here on the right side controls the swing brake. And these two pedals that you see here to the left of the travel pedals control the clam functions on the shovel. They are positioned so that you can operate both of these pedals by pivoting off your heel. The left pedal opens the clam and the right pedal closes the clam. And over here on the left side you can see other various switches and controls to work other functions on the machine. You can see controls for engine 1 and engine 2, miscellaneous lighting, here you can see a light and you can see all the gauges out in front to monitor the machine when it's running. Out in front, you can see the digital display screen, which features the Comtrax Plus satellite communication and monitoring system, which provides real-time information to the operator on the operating status of this machine. And from right here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a PC-5500. The noise level inside the cab of the PC5500 is rated to be below 76 decibels. And this beautiful cab was designed exclusively for Komatsu's mining class of hydraulic excavators. Behind the operator's seat, you can see a console which features storage cabinets and even a built-in mini refrigerator. On the older Dash 1 series, the console even featured a built-in mini sink. However, this was later discontinued on the newer PC5500 models. You can see they've even installed a microwave inside the cab of this machine so the operator can warm up his lunch. And to the right of the door as you come in the cab, you can see a fold-down trainer seat.
Here you can see the bolt-on metal sun blinds, which reduce sunlight glare in on the operator. And here you can see the emergency escape ladder mounted on the side of the machine. PC 5500 6 features a hydraulically powered centralized service fluid filling station, which you can see right here. This allows the mechanic or fuel man to plug into any one of these ports and fill the machine with either diesel fuel, engine oil, hydraulic oil, or other service fluids from right here. And on the back of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, Komatsu. The PC-5500-6 was designed to be a perfect match for truck sizes ranging anywhere from 190 to 240 U.S. ton capacity. And to help give you an idea of the sheer size of this machine, this excavator measures 28 feet 3 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 24 feet 9 inches wide when equipped with the standard 53-inch crawler shoes. Over the years, with continuous upgrades and improvements made to the 5500 series, the current PC5500-6 has grown substantially in weight. When compared to the original DMAG H455S, which weighed in at 540 and a quarter tons, the overall operating weight of the PC5500-6 in front shovel configuration, as you see right here, can range anywhere from 585 to 600 tons, depending on crawler shoe width and optional equipment. In backhoe configuration, the overall operating weight of the PC5500-6 can range anywhere from 590 to 605 tons. Simply put, the Komatsu PC5500-6 is one mighty hydraulic excavator. And if you enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it, be sure to check out the PA Mining Channel for more documentaries on other large pieces of surface mining equipment. But there she is, a 2006 Komatsu PC5500-6.